your company hopefully will be candid with you if you ask the right questions. And one thing I would say that job seekers and or employees sometimes fail to do is to prepare themselves properly to make it easy for their boss or for the company to give them the information they need. It's funny because they seem like they have all the power and they do, but you can make it easier for them by creating a psychologically safe space for your boss to give you feedback. For example, number one, don't ask during compensation time. It's a very stressful time for managers. They have a limited budget. Don't start a promotion conversation with your boss at comp time. It really is separate. Wait for that to be done. Get your review. That's all backwards looking anyway. We want to look forwards. So wait a couple months. I think summer is a great time because it's a little quieter depending on the industry you're in, depending on your occupation. But in general, July, August can be a nice, quiet, mellow time to really kick back with your boss and say, can we just talk about this going forward? I'm really interested in developing. I'd love to learn these skills. This is how I see myself. And then if they really are tough at giving you feedback, my other big tip is to ask a very specific question that very few leaders will refuse to answer. And this also is a great question to ask peers and your direct reports, by the way, because depending on how high you want to go, you need to make everybody happy. So <laughs> you say, hey, I want to be the best that I can be and realize my full potential. What one thing can I do that would help me be better in my job? And just stop talking and stay quiet and give them a little time to think. I'm telling you 99% of the time, because you're so specific about one thing and you're asking and you make it safe for them, they will come up with something and tell you. The trick is to thank them then. Say, thank you so much for the feedback, especially if you disagree. Don't argue. And I'll explain that in a second. It could be unfair. It could be something that really knocks you for a loop. What? What are they talking about? If you truly don't understand, say, can you tell me a little bit more? Can you give me an example? Again, in this tone of voice. Oh, okay, that's so interesting. And then, you, you know, if it's something that really shocked you, then you can manage it later. If it's something tough, great. You know, think about it. Bully for you that you got it out of them because those are the kinds of things that I find in my clients later in my 360s that can prevent them from getting a promotion and they never knew that they had upset someone or they were doing something a particular way. It may be super helpful and like, oh, I never thought of that. That's great. I could totally start working on that, like presentation skills or this particular stakeholder that you might not have strategically realized was critical for your boss. And maybe to help your boss, you need to do some, some deep work over there. 